every summer as thousands flock to the beach. Mural can get very dangerous very quickly. A group of volunteers risk it all. He was fighting face down out there somewhere. It's bloody unpleasant, but you have a sense of duty. To save lives. Jacket, so um, probably saves his life. We could see some action there. The first worst drive was an unsuccessful rescue. And keep you safe. Okay. Around the treacherous waters of Danger Beach. Coming up, pounding surf on both coasts has swimmers in trouble at Mount Monganui. And surfers heading to A and E at Moody Wine, while inexperienced boogie boarders cause headaches. Thousands of visitors have already flocked to the black sand pit of Mutiwai this summer. Is this going on TV? It's a playground for all shapes and colours. Of course you get some, some pretty interesting characters in the beach that you might bump into every now and then. I mean, it's, it, all, it all adds to the stories that you get to share over a few beers after patrol. There's a sign right in front of you. West side. Some have trouble working out what floats the boat. We were going to match her surf, but then we got told it'll sink. Yeah. While others with just what to wear. The guy behind me, he's, a, he's in a Borat suit. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. A little, a little bit crazy. I think it's a stag do or something. So, he, lo <laughs> he looks like he's having fun. <laughs> uh, sometimes here at Mirror Wise Surf Rescue, we have to, have to make some sacrifices. Can we get this show on the road? The Borat style mankini I got from Trade Me. You can buy anything off Trade Me. For some, Moody Wise rugged coastline stretching for over 60 kilometres is home to some of New Zealand's most extreme sport. From kite fishing, extreme rock fishing, land sailing, and your daredevil 4x4 drivers. It's these sort of people that we find tipped over halfway up the beach somewhere. Leading to rescues of a different sort for the lifeguards. Burning out the clutch here, smell it. And then there are the surfers who are arriving in their masses for what could be one of the best days of the season. The biggest problem I see today is the fact that it's it's nice surf, it's clean, and it looks nice, it's quite inviting for your novice surfers, and your boogie boarders and things like that. And I'd say if we were going to get any problems today, it'd be the likes of a boogie boarder with no fins going out the back and trying to be with the big boys and getting into grief. It isn't long before Andrew is proven right, as rips take hold of the inexperienced. A large amount of water is being sucked directly out to sea and catching many off guard. Ash from Slim. Yeah, can you come to a rescue south of the flags, 200 metres over? Senior lifeguard Ash Matushka wastes no time in deploying the IRB in what could be a mass rescue. Inexperienced boogie boarders have ventured too far and are being pulled out to sea. Without fins, they have no chance of making it back in. The boogie boarder is adamant he can make it back to shore and refuses the offer for help. But Ash knows it's only a matter of time before he will need rescuing. He only hopes it won't be too late. Uh, this guy's just been out here struggling for a little while. He thinks he's going to make it in all right, but uh, he, hasn't been, he hasn't been going anywhere for ages. Uh, but we saw him from the tower watching him before. He was just sort of hanging around. There's just a little rip running just off the front of the beach here. Um, and he's just sitting in the back of it, paddling straight back into it, not going anywhere.
Another boogie boarder and the same response. A problem lifeguards are faced with every day. The surfer realises he is in trouble and he is swiftly brought back to safe water. Things are beginning to heat up as another rocky surfer is pulled from the water. Ash, Ash from Tower. The guy on the red boogie board south moving quickly, so I think we should get onto it. Yeah, copy that now. Might be a busier afternoon than we thought. The boogie boarder who refused help is now in serious trouble. Over on the east coast of New Zealand, the surf is also pumping, resulting in the same problems for rival surf club Mount Monganui. Reasonably busy out there today. A lot of people here enjoying themselves. Conditions look quite, uh, quite a lot of strong waves, a lot of water coming in and heading out. Good to see a lot of parents down on the water's edge with their kids. Uh, that's always excellent. It's not a babysitting service here and we can't keep our eyes everywhere at once. So it's good, it's good to see parents taking responsibility. We've got about four foot waves and we've got a few little rips going out there by Mantariki. Surfers use it to get out and come back in. They're pretty confident in the water, but people on like bodyboards and stuff that don't have fins, they're quite easily carried out. We just try and keep people away from the rips, get them between the flags. Yeah, keep an eye on everyone and make sure they're safe. The tower keeps a close eye on surfers, and as the swell rises, so do the risks for the swimmers. It's getting bigger. It's picked up throughout the day. Um, it's pretty heavy since we just about to take the IRB here out, um, go and check for rips and check that the kids on the boogie boards are all right. With the perfect surf, the IRB has a constant struggle to keep the surfers and swimmers apart. Mount IRB, Mount IRB, this is Mount Flags, over. <laughs> We've got some surfers between the flags getting close to the swimmers. Can you just come across and tell them to move out? Over. The flagged area is a no-go zone for the surfers to help minimise collisions with swimmers. Just then, three swimmers are spotted in trouble. Lifeguards rush from everywhere as the last of the three swimmers are being helped from the IRB. And his friend lies unresponsive on the beach. Uh, 